moved the family. And, uh, okay, explain some of that experience, because it's a it's a funny story. <coughs> oh, <laughs> like what what was your role? What were you supposed to be doing? Or what? Uh, I was an assistant. Uh, oh, I forget what those units were called. Were these like boot boot camp recruit recruit training? Uh, Hmm. Men you were in charge of, or over over overseeing, not necessarily. Well, they decided that I I wasn't tough enough on the recruits. In in what way? I didn't holler enough, didn't swear at them enough, <laughs> didn't didn't make their lives miserable. <laughs> Obviously, they 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 didn't account for who what type of person you were when they assigned you there. <laughs> so they. They, uh, they, so, they left me in, in, in charge of the disciplinary unit. <laughs> for how for how long? Well, I was only on uh, probably six months or so. Huh. Yeah. Now was this when you when you, you mentioned something in the past about uh, Marines jumping the fence? Oh. And to NTC and, and, and Navy guys, you know, recruits jumping the fence into the into MCRD. In, right. What what happened to those guys? <laughs> they were returned to the Naval Training Center, put in the brig. And they weren't very they weren't treated very well from what uh No. <laughs> they thought they were jumping to freedom and they ended mm -hmm. up on another base. Right. They were on a tougher base. <laughs> Yeah, that's fun. Um, okay, so then, after your stint is there, what where did you what did you do next? Then after I finished at the recruit training command, I went to the USS Tutuila. Now was this was this when at the end of your time at NTC, was this when they told you you were gonna you were gonna be going to the East Coast? Yes, they said I had I had a choice. I could either go to the East Coast or go to Vietnam. If I went to Vietnam, I would only be over there a year or so, uh -huh. and then they would put me in. Back to San Diego? Yeah. Otherwise, it was move the family again to the East Coast mm -hmm. for yeah. at least three years or whatever. Yeah, and I didn't want to do that. So. Oh, okay. So I opted for the Vietnam. Well, I mentioned that story to Brian because he didn't know it, and then uh, when I saw his family a couple months ago, he asked me to tell that story, mm -hmm. so I thought it was a, a significant story. Uh, anyway, so you went to Vietnam for a year, you were on the Tut de Wheel. Where did you meet up with the with the ship itself? Did you fly in Saigon or? The Tut de Wheel? Yeah. Uh, I imagine you'd take from San Diego to Vietnam. That would be like yeah, I flew into Saigon. Take, take probably two years to get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you flew into Saigon and then met the uh, met the ship there. Right. And what uh, what what was your role there? What did you do there? What was it like? I was the division officer for the repair division. Okay. So on the Gompers, you were the assistant. Yes. And now you're now you're in charge. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. And what what did you guys do? What was the main uh, operation that you guys repair? Yeah. It yeah. was it was anchored moored because it didn't go anywhere because we were Tutuila was a repair ship for small vessels. So they came to you. Yes. Okay. Yes. The Vietnamese when they uh, when they were given landing craft and uh -huh. stuff like that, river boats, they were very, very choosy. <laughs> they had to be in perfect shape or they wouldn't take them. Huh. And this is the initial turnover to them. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. And did you ever, did you ever hear any fighting, any kind of bombing, any, as far as being on board the Tudor, how would you have known you were in, in the waters of Vietnam if you didn't know better? Was there any way to tell? No. 
Because yeah. I didn't hear anything, you know, in the way of gunfire. Maybe, maybe one time I heard some gunfire, but huh. that was about it. Well, how far offshore were you? Oh, we were, we were up. Oh, when when I first got there. Yeah. We were anchored to an island, uh, or anchored at an island on the west side of Vietnam. Huh. And then we went up to Japan for some yard work on our ship on the Tudu Island. When we come back, we went up the Saigon River and anchored. Oh, really? Yeah. How far up the river? Well, probably 10 miles. Huh. Yeah. Huh. So. Now, on your, the, the trip from from Vietnam to Japan, mm -hmm. you went straight to Japan? Yes. And then they did whatever they work. They whatever work, yeah, they had to. And then you came back down to, you said something about, you said something about Hong Kong? And did you hit Hong Kong on the way down, or? Hmm. This was what year again, 1916, 19? I went to the Tudorila Tudor on March of 70. Okay. And and was on it until April of 71, April one year, April. basically a one year stint. Okay, so then when you got back to the States, back to San Diego, what, what, where were you assigned at that point? To the Development and Training Command at Naval Training Center in San Diego. Is that uh, 32nd Street? Yes. So then you spent the remainder of your career there? Right. And what did you do there? Uh, what did I do there? I was a division officer for the for the uh, repair division. Huh. Ship fitters. Huh. I didn't have any electricians or anyone in my division, I don't think. Yeah. And how did you get to work? Well, well eventually, eventually, I huh? I, I bought a, a motorcycle. A Yamaha, uh, if I remember correctly. 180 or something, yeah. yeah. But prior to that... Oh, uh, I'd drive down there and... and uh, but didn't you have a bike as well? Yeah, I didn't ride it to work. I never... Okay. No. Yeah. So, and then when, when they needed the car at home, then they would... I would drive it down there and ride, you know, uh, yeah. Catch the bus? No. Huh. Hmm. That was the Ford Galaxy? I, I would imagine. I don't know. I... I would think. I'm guessing. Yeah, probably so. So, your transition from the Navy to the civilian world, was there any problems with that? Was it a piece of cake? Because, I mean, I, I've heard guys who've had a hard time transitioning, and other other people had no problem at all. I had no problem. But, no, I didn't have any problems. You know. And what did you do to prepare yourself for retirement? As In, in other words, what, what did you do to prepare, prepare yourself for your next Thing in life, your next career. What did you do? I uh, I started going to college. While you were still in the Navy, or when you got out? While I was in the Navy, I guess. So you intended on being a, an insurance adjuster, or in the in, in the claim side of, uh, of uh, insurance, or sort of how did you fall into that? I guess would be the question. Ah, uh, I guess just reading magazines and stuff. And so you had a plan. It wasn't just random. Like you retired today, and then tomorrow you're working as a claims adjuster. Yeah, yeah. You, no. you had a you had a plan. Yeah, which doesn't surprise me at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you know, you plan things out. I went to work. Oh yeah, I. Uh I responded to an ad in the National City, or in the, in the San Diego Union. Huh. They were looking for an insurance adjuster. Huh. Roger Steele Insurance Agency. Can you hold right there? Sure. Let me get another. See, this is, this is, this is good stuff.